uh, Florida. It's interesting. You know, it's all new to me, but uh, I mean, I mean, this is great. I mean, I'm sitting here by my VW van that's here by some sort of magic that I can't even explain. Oh, the sun's really going down. And uh, I'm sitting here on the beach in the Kalapana. It's very, uh, you know, I remember the name of the street, but I'll get, I'll figure it out. I'll remember it one of these days. I got to hear somebody say it, I guess. So there goes, the sun's gone. Woo! So there's, there's the beach. Well, here's the sunset. I just thought I'd come down and film a little more. It's kind of nice. Kind of not. Look at this. Well, it looks better on my camera than it looks in reality. Wow, that's a bluer sky than the actual sky. I like. Wow, that's nice. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. That's about the same yellow. Look at this. They say there's going to be some rain tomorrow. Hard to tell. Anyway. Well, there's sunrise coming. It's 6.30 in the morning. I'm supposed to meet the tractor guy at 7.30, so I'm like down here morning. We'll just give you a little turnaround here. Oh, this is the park. The mailboxes are right up there, right up there, and that castle is right over there. Kind of see it. And that's me. And um, anyway, good morning. Get you back over here to the sunrise. Whoops, where to go? Yeah, right there. Anyway, you know, I'm really close. In a way, I scratch my... How did I make I mean, everything's like working. I guess when you have one of these dreams, uh, sometimes they work. It's kind of a trip. Sometimes. I mean, you know, I've had a lot of trips to Oregon, I've had a lot of bad times. I've made a lot of mistakes. But maybe I made all those so that I'd make, I'd be here. I mean, you got to be 75, not 60. Uh, this is for old people. This is for... <laughs> I see a lot of other people like me around here in Hilo. There's a lot of other old people coming over here. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So here we are, here we are, there's one property line here, see this little green stake, and it goes right, see the stake, and then it goes right back there. Look at all these ferns and all kinds of stuff grow here. So, and here's the other property line by this guy's house. He's got a roof and a downspout and catchment tank. Pretty simple. Here's the property line. That telephone pole, right? See? Anyway, so we'll just see what we got here. A lot of, gotta level a lot of this out.
And I guess I'll use the Albizia tree, these things. I'll use the timbers in my building. So I'm not going to trash anything more than just the uh, you know, bra branches, you know. I'll just chip those into the... A lot of this will just be chipped into the left right here and chipped in. Because compost will just decompose and fill in all the gaps between the rocks. So I'll have compost. So pretty much leave everything here, just get it so that I can walk on the, you know, mash it down. I don't know. Interesting question. So much bad stuff about these Albizia trees, but I got into some research. Oh, thought I'd do a rock around. See what. This is what, pretty much what it looks like. Walking down the property line here. Oh, 120 feet deep. You got to look at what this guy over here is doing. I mean, really. So here are the trees that got to go. This one's already been cut. Probably because of that house there. Those people probably cut it. I mean, this guy. Drying some wood over there. Avocado trees. Now well, let's see, this is an empty house.
make an opening so we kind of see what we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, you never even see the lava underneath all that. Looks to me like I got a lot of soil on top of those rocks from all these years of grass growing. Boy. To get rid of it would be stupid. Let's have a big stump. A big stump, just below the ground level. <laughs> there it goes. Fantastic. This isn't worth six or seven hundred dollars, man. Talk about making my job 